Hi Capricorn. Welcome to January, welcome to 2020. It's no doubt amongst you that you are holding most of the sky. As I'm filming this, I am a little bit late. Oh, four of swords. I am a little bit late to the party because I'm having so much technical trouble with my laptop. It's actually crazy. Um, and as I'm filming this, it is the Saturn-Pluto conjunction in your sign, your ruler being Saturn. And we've had the eclipses, the solar eclipse in your sign, the new moon that was in your sign. And then we had the full moon in Cancer, your opposite sign. And you're tired. You're very tired. You're kind of weary. The, the energy is heavy, especially for anyone with strong Capricorn placements or Capricorn anywhere in their chart. It is pushing your buttons and it is pushing you to transform, to achieve, to recreate. But first of all, Capricorn, you have to make a decision on a close personal air sign, be it an Aquarius, Libra or a Gemini or possibly a Scorpio. But for a lot of you, you have to decide whether or not you're going to continue down this route you're going on based on respect. If you do not feel respected in some area of your life, Capricorn, you are very much thinking of putting on your walking boots and going. It's something that Capricorns do very well. Seven of Cups, Ace of Cups and the Four of Cups. An offer that comes in maybe too little too late for many of you from someone who was inconsistent, from someone who was wishy-washy, from be it in work, be it in romance. I think for a lot of you it's romance. And for those of you that are very single, an offer of love may just not seem so special. Or the offers of love that you're receiving, again, may not seem so special. There is a feeling of meh. There is a feeling of closing yourself off because you are tired. And there's a sense of delaying decisions because you know you have an instinct that life as you know it, Capricorn, in 2020 will be transformed, will not look the same this time next year. People will be very different. Your job could be very different. Your career could be very different. But you're in some ways tired and in other ways optimistic about at least having a choice. About at least, ooh, about at least having a say on where you're going to go next. And while the energy surrounding you feels very intense and very transformative and you have your senses going that something deeper is going on here, you're okay with taking a small step in a new direction and mentally vacationing to what other options could be available to you, be it in a different country, be it in a different, yeah, a different environment. Because at some point in January, the energy feels so heavy that you want to give up. But there is this little voice within you that is saying you still have a choice. You can't give up when you still have a choice. Because you can give up or not give up. That may be your choice. What you're hoping for with the King of Pentacles is to be the best version of yourself in 2020. And the plants want the same for you. The planets want the same for anyone who is in power, anyone who is at the top, five of pentacles. But I think, Capricorn, you run the risk of trying at some point in January to sell yourself a little bit short. There's a few similarities in your cards that is to Libra, which is interesting. This is in the same place. And this is present here as well. The Five of Pentacles is present. That makes me think like some of you are making decisions or choices based on a lack mentality. It's as if you wonder with these choices if one is no good and the other one is just ever so slightly better. You want something to change. And I think for a lot of you Capricorns, you're surrendering your control of that change to somebody else whose opinion you've long respected and long admired but may not have the the best advice at the minute and it's not that they mean well but I think that you'd be very 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 mindful Capricorn if you want the success of the world if you want the changes 
to take advice from someone who's a little bit more impartial, to take advice from someone who's a little bit more detached. Hanged man. Saturn is here and Pluto is here. Your ruler has come out a lot stronger as it is in your outcome position and yet your ruler is transforming you and asking you that if you are going to make a very very important decision which I think a lot of you are and I think a lot of it is to do with a key person or a key player in your mouth mouth <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> a key player in your life wow <laughs> a key player in your life I think if you want to make a decision you're gonna have to take more responsibility of it and take the onus of them because although you respect them and you admire them and they seem quite stoic nobody is as stoic as a Capricorn particularly if you're dealing with a Gemini because they're gonna change their mind about whatever it is that you're waiting an answer for even if they give you an answer now they're gonna change your mind and in a month you're gonna be like I knew better don't make plans on what somebody else is doing because a lot of people are going through very deep transformations and nobody is playing from a place of confidence. People are more playing from a place of insecurity and it may rattle you how deeply insecure some of the people that you respect the most actually are and how they take it out on you and how you feel out in the cold whenever actually the things that are occurring right now are occurring for your benefit, Capricorn. If you just wait and see that thing that you really want is manifesting but you can so easily fight it away if you persist with trying to wait for an answer from somebody else. Ooh. In terms of your money it would be wise Capricorn not to blend money and romance too quickly just because there is such a heavy push and pull energy from the skies as it is and that um, lunar eclipse in your partnership sector may very well eclipse a few people out romantically if it's not working but if it is working I think that perhaps some Capricorns have found that the eclipse has made talks a lot more serious but again life as you know it will not look the same in the next 12 months and that's not a scary thing that's a good thing If you're dealing with a fixed sign with a Scorpio, a Taurus, a Leo, or an Aquarius, they have a almost otherworldly perspective on what you should or shouldn't do. And I think the fixed sign's advice is more likely to lead you to success when you feel like making moves that wouldn't actually benefit you and you guys are so good at making moves that do benefit you and weighing things up and taking you know chances that aren't rebellious and aren't frivolous and aren't um silly but skies at the minute as they settle down can feel incredibly insecure for certain people particularly the cardinal signs such as yourself so the libras in your life the aries in your life and the cancers in your life, Capricorn, are not making the strongest choices because a lot of choices are actually being made for them. Romantically speaking, for those of you that are looking for somebody else, I think a lot of you find in a Gemini or a Pisces, something quite satisfying and possibly an end to being single, possibly an offer that is exciting and sweet. For a lot of you with that Ace of Cups, new love does come in for those of you that want it. That feels very exciting. But again, don't... Don't make too heavy future plans. Don't book trips. Mercury retrograde is just around the corner. Keep your options somewhat open before you make any decision. And we are weighing well into the extended with these cards. So if you want to join me in the extended, that will be listed down below. 
January is still your season and you should still feel like center stage. You should still make the most of the sun in your sign and if other people are taking away your sparkle, keep some kind of distance. Retreat ever so slightly. Preserve your energy. Focus on what it is that you want. Contemplate your next moves in private and allow new love for many Capricorns to lighten the load. Because right now it looks like a lot of fun, but you don't know where it could go in 2020. So I love you guys. I will see you in the extended. Bye Capricorn.